Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams. From men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding, like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You were dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Donegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, milady. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islanders said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into again? I am sorry, milady. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, milady.
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the area. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what happened here. The tents are lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise and animals were amongst the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies and no sign of the presence of Constantine or Katizak. Perhaps they were in another place and the soldiers wanted to jump. We need to follow the tracks. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the area and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult. Uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasach wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. But there are bodies. And without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly to the end. <sighs> Neither Constantine nor Katazak are amongst them. The crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight. But a group escaped down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. Footprints. 
The ones who got away fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! <laughs> Soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again? Or something else? New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only corpses of our own men. Where could these other soldiers have come from? More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? made it up here. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katazak. These rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon. But what could have happened here? don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge be in some way linked to this attack? That makes no sense. These vials look familiar. Kadasak used the very same to stock his potions. He came all the way here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine. 
What have you gotten yourself into again? Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantine and Katazak definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless... he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he can now apply leverage to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. Regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. Perhaps we could return to Wenshavier in order to learn more. Katazak may have returned there. His Voglandig might be able to tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers participated in the combat. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories to tell us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasak is a good man. But the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That is true. But I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay.
I've heard stories of your exploits. Thank you for all you've done. It's unusual for us to be offered aid by a Renaixe. It seems my Tiern was right. You are on Ol Manawi. How can I help? Katazak has disappeared. Would you have an idea as to where he went? What? But my Tiern followed you to help you. How would I know where to find him? I don't know exactly what happened, but he took my cousin to a particular place. A place to perform a ritual. Their escort was attacked, decimated by beasts and by magic. And my cousin and Katasak have disappeared. And you believe that the Tiern has taken your cousin and killed his soldiers? Your heart must beat in shadow to believe that the man who offered you his hand only did so in order to better betray you. Wait. This is not what my friend wanted you to hear. Perhaps they were wounded. And your master wanted to take Constantine to a safe haven to heal him. We must find them at all costs. Wherever they are, they most certainly need help. Forgive me, Donegan. Your words are true. I spoke without thinking. But I do not know how I can help you. There may be a way. I found these vials of potion on the battlefield. Do they belong to your master? They could very well. But let me see them closely. No. They are not his. This potion does not seem like any of those my master prepares. I do not know this smell. The plants used to make it do not come from here. Another Donegad must be implicated. But none that I know would attack Katasach. May the trees protect us. Who would attack the water that heals? The earth that feels? They must be in grave danger. Yes. I sincerely hope that we will find them. That they are alive and well. I must go. I need to continue my investigations. When you have discovered anything, let me know. I have to go. on my blade.
colonials. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? De Sardé. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, milady? I am looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive, wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like, but me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> one of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed, unconscious, two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just... refusing to die. I am sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. an infirmary I know I've come to see the wounded soldier the captain told me you might need my help that is very kind of him but alas it's a little late what are you saying is the soldier no he still lives but I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks I no longer have a single remedy and now that we have a wounded patient I can only wipe water on his brow and hope do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. 
Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days, and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming. In our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantin Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and other soldiers fell one after the other. 
I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. The rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes. It's best I leave you now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Excellency. I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good woman, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency.